Today on our 2016 Chrysler Town & Country, we're going to take a look at, then also show you how to install the Curt Custom Fit Class 2 trailer hitch receiver. This offers the inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter opening. Its part number is C12264. Now here's a good look at what the hitch is going to look like installed. Our cross tube runs all the way across the rear here, but it's really going to be hidden up behind this rear fascia. It gives you a nice look. The only thing you're really going to notice is your receiver tube opening here in the back. Now this is an inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter receiver tube opening. It's got a nice flush reinforcement collar around the end there. As you can see, it's inset of our bumper, so it's tucked in just a little bit there. Not going to have to worry about hitting our legs on it or anything like that. You can see our safety chain connection points here. This is going to be a rolled steel style. Pretty open, so I think getting your chains connected shouldn't be much of an issue. And then to secure all of our items, we're going to have a half inch diameter pinhole. Now this we'll want to use class two accessories with, locking hitch pins, anti-rattle devices, things like that. Now we've got maybe about another half inch before we get down here to our safety chain connection point. So don't get any items that are really large in diameter. I think you might run into a little interference. But other than that, most items should work on it there. Now as far as towing or hauling is concerned, we're going to have a 350 pound tongue weight rating. So that's the maximum downward force that we can put here at our receiver tube opening. And we've got a 3,500 pound gross trailer weight rating. It's going to be the total weight of our trailer and anything that we were to load up on it. We'll definitely want to check out the owner's manual on our town and country. We'll see what it's rated for. Then we can go off of whichever of those numbers are the lowest. Kurt does recommend the use of a stabilization strap anytime we're using something that would be considered a non-wheeled load. Now a couple measurements that you'll find helpful in selecting your ball mount, bike rack, or hitch cargo carrier will be from the ground to the inside top edge of our receiver tube opening. We've got about 12 and 3 quarters of an inch. Then from the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of our bumper, it's about four and a quarter. Now to begin our installation, the first thing we're gonna need to do is lower down the exhaust pipe. Uh, to do that, there's gonna be three 13 millimeter bolts we're gonna remove. The first is gonna be right out here, just outside of the tailpipe. The next one's gonna be just in front of our cross member here for the rear axle. And now if we go caddy corner to that on the other side of the muffler on the outside edge towards the passenger side. Then you'll see that's just going to come down and it'll rest on top of that cross member there. Now back here on our passenger side we can take out the two bolts that we're going to need. The first is right here just behind these AC lines. We want to be careful of these and this one we'll need an 18 millimeter socket for. And then if we go straight back towards the rear of the vehicle on the frame rail, there's going to be one that we'll need a 15 millimeter socket for. Now here on our driver's side frame rail, we're going to have two of the 18 millimeter bolts, one here, one here. And then in the same location there in the rear, we're going to have a 15. Now we want to hang on to the hardware that we've removed because that's what we're going to secure our hitch with. Now once we get an extra set of hands, we're ready to raise our hitch up into position. We'll just align the two holes on the passenger side, the three holes on the driver's side up with the bolts that we've removed and simply thread them back into place. Now as you do this on the passenger side, do watch out for those AC lines. We don't want to cause any damage. Now once we have our passenger side started, we can let the hitch rest on that bolt while we get our driver's side started here. That should hold our hitch into position while we get the rest of our hardware in place. Now we'll get our other bolt here on the passenger side. Now we'll finish getting our bolts in the front. And a little tip here is if they don't start right away, you can use a screwdriver and you gotta pull over on that nut plate just slightly and then they should thread on in for you. Just sometimes has a tendency to move a little bit. All right, now we're ready to snug all five of our fasteners down. Then we'll torque it to the specifications that we'll find in our instructions.
Now we're ready to get our exhaust back into position. We just want to use our original hardware, thread it right back into its original hole. We'll be sure to do that in all three locations. All right, that's all there is to it. Our hitch is installed and ready for use. And with our exhaust back in place, that's going to complete our installation of the Kurt Custom Fit Class 2 trailer hitch receiver, part number C12264, on our 2016 Chrysler Town & Country.